Howdy folks, this is the lovely new ZOHD Drift. I literally opened the box about 20 minutes ago. So easy to assemble. I'll show you the assembly uh, in the next video, but uh, the conditions are right. I've um, got a little bit of a, a wind coming onto the slope, so I thought I'd um, kind of do it in reverse and try it as a slope sawer before anything else. I know it's designed as a sort of an FPV plane and uh, matched up with the co-pilot and the little uh, all-in-one camera and I have them so I'll do a video on setting them all up but uh, I think it's so beautiful I'm just gonna try it as a slope saw and just watch it fly for a little while. I have a 2S 1300 battery in there which just fits nicely uh, and that brings the weight up to 240 grams so it's still under the 250 like this with the co-pilot and the little all-in-one camera you could use a lighter battery and still keep it under 250 grams with all the FPV goodies. 100% throws on everything, 30% expo. Let's see what happens. No motor, just gliding. And that is a glider. It is seriously a tiny amount of wind. I can just feel it on my face but that is cruising along beautiful. Bit of power and I'm a bit nose heavy at the moment. The CG marks on the wing are, are way back at about 50% so it is seriously a glider. Minimum trim reach. There we go. throws are too big but look at that what a beautiful plane I'm sure they sat around the design table and said what plane would Andrew like to fly and this is it this is the kind of plane I try and design all the time ah oh, beautiful seriously there would be about three or four knots of wind coming on and that's look at that this is what it's designed for. Ah, ha, ha, how beautiful! This is amazing. <laughs> FPV slope soaring, how about that? Yes, I must try that. I need to tone down my throws too, 100% throws it's probably a bit too much but it's fine now they say this this is a nice gentle glider throttling up it does dip down a little bit when you throttle up and they say not to do aerobatics so I won't do any aerobatics <laughs> it absolutely loves it Oh wow, what a plane. How gorgeous. <laughs> ah well, so yeah, the little bit of down thrust. Could use a tiny bit more down thrust, I think. It does throttle up a bit. Oh no, it didn't then. Maybe when you get it trimmed right it doesn't do that. But just cruising around like that. Oh man. I notice one of my wingtips has bent down a little bit and the other one's bent up a bit. That's hopefully that'll settle out when it's out of the packing for a little while, but I literally have just pulled this out of the box and put it together. Two thumb screws to put it together, one for the center of the wings, one for the tail boom. Oh, sorry, no, one for the tail plane. Tail boom pushes in and then there's a little locking collar at the back, which is a lovely design. There's space underneath uh, for your receiver, I guess. There's space for a little GPS unit on top of the wing with a little cover for it as well. And of course, space for the little co-pilot unit, or you could use something like a little Matek uh, F411 flight control board. No rudder, but it seriously doesn't need it. Oh, this is so beautiful. 
I'd love to know what current it's drawing, but it's not going to be much. Ah, oh, magic. It's uh, an all-in-one plane. It can do FPV. It's just beautiful to watch flying around. It's almost a shame to put FPV on it because you wouldn't be able to watch it. <laughs> what a magic plane. Oh, listen to that beautiful little buzz. So quiet. Motor off. Gliding in minimal wind. Does want to tip stall a little bit, but uh, certainly, or well, when you turn, it wants to sort of dip into the turn. Is it, or is it just over, over controlled? It's just minimal wind, so I'm kind of stalling it every now and then, but it seems to recover beautifully. Guys, I can barely feel the wind on my face. Well, I've got to put a camera on it, haven't I? Oop. Hard place to land here. I was going to try and catch it, but it's coming in a bit quick. All right. Put it down there. What an absolute delight. Camera on board now. All right, let's go for some uh, flying over water, hey? So confident in this plane, I'm just going to fly straight out till I can almost not see it and then bring it back. Let's glide it back. Handling the Mobius weight without a s any problem at all. It's cruising along now with the uh, seagulls chasing along behind it. So smooth and stable. It's got quite a large wing area for a, such a small plane. Easily does aerobatics, although it says in the instruction manual you do it at your own risk. Wow, that was a nice roll. All right, bring it in. Sweet! <laughs> oh gosh, I absolutely love this plane. It could be reasonably fast too, if you wanted to fly it like that. But it is best at cruising around slowly. Of course it speeds up when you've got a bit more weight in it, like I have now. So this is the Mobius camera, which, uh, what's the weight of that? It's about 50 grams, 47 grams, something like that. So it's a reasonable amount of extra weight. Flying nicely. Ha 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 ha.
I hope my tape stays on, <laughs> stays stuck. I'd hate to lose the Mobius in the drink. Awesome little plane. And you can catch it too. I have to admit to being a, a, a ZOHD fanboy, most definitely, and this is the best one they've produced, I think. This is my kind of plane. This is the sort of plane that I try to design, uh, but always fall a bit short, I think. It's almost a perfect plane, I think. I need to fly it a little bit more. I need to fly it FPV, which I will very soon, uh, but I just couldn't wait to fly it on the slope because uh, that's where my favorite planes end up. All right, well, I'll go and do a proper assembly and assessment of the components and put the co-pilot and the little uh, VC400 all in one camera in and we'll take it for some FPV but oh, it's a shame to put FPV on it I think it's just such a beautiful plane just to fly around. Thanks for watching, see you later.